Hey guys, I'm Sydney. And I'm Kara. And, and this, this is Bama AM, AM, brought to you by Touchdown Alabama. So, last, week, Al- last weekend, Alabama took on Mississippi State, which, surprise, surprise, was another blowout game, 24-0. Not really surprised, but... Okay. <laughs> um, two and through for 164 yards, yeah. one touchdown, one interception. I kind of think, you know, the biggest thing that we've heard about this uh, week after the game is should we rest to a. Yeah, I think honestly, eh, yes, kind of a little bit because we do have a lot of big games coming up. Auburn, the SEC championship. Right. Hopefully, the national championship. <laughs> but just a lot of big games. I think, like, Jalen needs to step up a little bit and maybe give Mac Jones a little bit of a time to shine. Right. I think like, well, Jalen, he's not even 100% yet with his ankle injury. Mac Jones, he he came in against Mississippi State and played for a little bit. But I definitely think it's time to rest to it, even though Nick Saban has his own agenda (laughs) regarding to his injury. He doesn't want to hear from the media at all. As he said at the press conference. He's not doing it, so quit asking. Yes. (laughs) But I do think Tua needs a little bit of rest. Like, Mm -hmm. I think this is really one of those games where he could take the game off. I know that during the Mississippi State games and the LSU games, a lot of people were talking about how the players were going for his knee. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's strategy. Like, they see that he was hit pretty badly against LSU right. last weekend. Right. And just the players, they see it's a weak spot, and they see that his ankle has been hurt in the last couple of weeks. So definitely, but I think that's a dirty move to right. go after an athlete after you see that he's, like, hurt and he's struggling with something. Right. But even I mean, after the third quarter, he was limping off the field. So we're like, yeah. no. But, I mean, they did come to win, but at the same time, like, really? How are you going to do that? <laughs> but, yeah, Citadel is this weekend. Right. But um, let's continue with Mississippi State. We have uh, Quinn and Williams as the Southern Conference Defenses Lineman of the Week. That's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> but so congratulations to him. Shout out to Josh Jacobs for the touchdown. Always great to see him coming up, working up. Also, Damian Harris, he did a great, he had a lot of great plays going on through the Mississippi State game. Jared Judy, he was okay. That's my yeah. boy, but he's doing everything. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Citadel this weekend against Citadel Bulldogs is an 11 o'clock game on Saturday. Ooh. It seems like everyone is the Bulldogs, but <laughs> that's a different story. Um, so yeah, what do you think about this game? I mean, they're a very small school in Charleston, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, but I think it's the small teams that you never have to underestimate. Right. I think the something important to point out is like Nick Saban said in his press conference, like never underestimate these teams. Mm-hmm. Nick Saban is not playing for a record. He's not playing to be undefeated. Nick Saban is playing to play the game of football. He's not really concerned about, you know, like I said, the records. He's not concerned about who's this playing, who's that playing. He wants us to, well, the team, the players, to come to each game ready to execute, ready to play like this is a championship game, like this is the SEC championship, like this is a national championship game. So he really doesn't like when you Doesn't matter how big or small, yeah. They're not going to go easy on one team just because... And this will be this will be an actual, like, not a fun game, but a challenging game for the Citadel because, you know, a lot of teams like to play against Alabama Mm -hmm. just to see that, just to say that they they play... Right. Comparing the matchups, playing against this Alabama defense, playing against this offense... It's going to be a very interesting game, although it's at 11 a.m. I don't know how Nick Saban's going to feel about that. <laughs> the student section will be lacking, but I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other um, team, not team members, a lot of other people from Citadel and like the diehard Alabama friends, fans that come to every game. So, Also, even though, you know, a lot of us talk, we're up, we're a 50, more than a 50 point favorite over the Citadel. But I think my, I actually have a game prediction for this game. Ooh, what is it? 63 to 10. I do think they're going to score a touchdown and a field goal. Just to, cause I think, although Nick Saban drills in the player's head that mm-hmm. you need to play a whole fourth quarter, I think there's going to be some slacking there. So I do think they're going to get a touchdown and a field goal just because. I think so. Honestly, I think so too. Just because, I don't know. 
I feel like that will come up, but I think 60 is definitely right. where I see the Crimson Tide. Maybe in the 70s. <laughs> but like I said, I think that every team does come to play, and they watch us every week, and they strategize. And I think they've seen where we mess up, like last week. The defense didn't have improved as a whole group, but I feel like there was some. The offense was slacking. Yeah, the offense was slacking. And even Saban mentioned it at the press conference on Monday that the offensive line had a bunch of like costly errors and they didn't finish their blocks and right. just stuff like that. So I think these teams look at it, mm -hmm. the practice footage and back at the games and see, oh, like, this is where we need to improve and this is where we're going to go. Right. And then just going off like, you know, the two is injury. Saban was saying, well, the only reason why he's getting hit and getting blocked is because because the players are not blocking. To be, yeah. <laughs> because if you're blocking for the quarterback, he would never get hit. But you know that's Saban being yeah, and that's he's just him being hard, being harsh and whatever. But yeah, he did mention that on Monday that a lot of the players aren't where they need to be, and that's mm -hmm. a lot of costly errors. And hopefully they can get that together so that Tua doesn't get hurt anymore. Just like doesn't have those intense hits because those look like they hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I think. After the Mississippi State game, the one um, interaction that everybody kind of missed uh, after the game. <laughs> the fight at the end of the game. Deontay Thompson. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I watched the video, but I really, I'm trying to figure out the It looks before. intense with the coach yelling. Right. Alabama coach yelling at the Mississippi State players, trying to divide uh, Deontay Thompson away from him. He had a lot of harsh words to say. The coach had a lot of harsh words to say. So I'm wondering how they're going to address that. Is there going to be some type of punishment going on? Um, I, I mean, we've seen it before in like the last couple of weeks. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> um, I think it's just a learning experience. And obviously, like good sportsmanship, I think that's shown. Alabama always does have good sportsmanship between like whatever. And there's just a little here and there. But right. I mean, I think that's something that. Nick Saban's definitely going to drill mm -hmm. back in them because they do respect every team that they yeah. play. But to see that after the game, I mean, we really, we rarely see it during the game because Nick Saban's really hard on like, yeah. you know, I think penalties. he instills it in office players, definitely. Right. And usually we would expect to see that against Auburn, which will be an interesting game coming yes, up that we're ready, ready next for. next weekend or two weeks from now. Mm -hmm. So I would think that would happen in Auburn because that rivalry, everybody's already a little sensitive. That's going to be a huge <laughs> rivalry game coming up. Right. And yeah. So like I said, my game prediction is 63-10. I definitely think, I definitely see them scoring, Citadel scoring. And I think I'll give us a little 50. Citadel 10, us in the 50s. I see them high scoring. 50s. Right. I see yeah. them scoring when we're like, we got the third string. Yeah. And, and that's not a, you know, shade to anybody, but I think this is one of the games where we actually let those younger players who haven't been able to play the game yet get them Build a chance their, to play. Yeah, their experience, their confidence. And Matt Jones. Yeah, especially because we're going into such big games, Auburn, mm -hmm. SEC Championship, that they need to really just get these under their belts and just like understand where they need to be, go in with the confidence, the execution, and just. Do their job and get it done. So and add another one to the list. On yes, to the next. on to the next. <laughs> anyway, comment down below what you think the score prediction is going to be this week. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and give this video a big thumbs up and turn on our notifications so that you'll see when we post more videos.